The Truth of Girls. Hey everybody, it's day, what, three? Four? Oh. I've lost track. It's day two in New Jersey anyway. <laughs> We're on a road trip today. We're coming into Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I'm so excited because we're gonna we're gonna go to the Mutter Museum. We're gonna try anyway. We're staying in the hotel now. We stayed last night, which is nice. I got all my stuff unpacked, organized. We went downstairs this morning for the complimentary breakfast at the Best Western, which we love. Uh, my son had a lot of fun making himself waffles and pancakes. I brought my own gluten-free bagel put cream cheese on there. So we did that and then we met up with Karen and Nick again and now we're coming into uh, Philly. This is my first time in Philadelphia. I'm like super excited about it. Oh my God, I just realized something. Okay, first of all, they have a very noticeable building with a pyramid on it, which you see when you're coming in. And there's another one that looks kind of like a pyramid building. Wow. And the one next to it is definitely an owl. You see that, Karen? Okay, that's the owl on the right. Sorry, it's so shaky. See, there's the pyramid is on that side, the other one, and then that's the owl, there's Moloch. It's like a Masonic symbol thing. They have this thing for owls for some reason. Where is this? Oh look, this is the on the street. Street of Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, what am I saying? You are looking at a street in Philadelphia. Turn left on South 22nd Street, then you will arrive at your destination. You're at your destination. Karen's like jealous. You're at your destination. <laughs> that woman keeps talking to you, Nick. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. Oh, <so> good. <laughs> it's like Nick's girlfriend, Nick's the phone girlfriend Siri tells him where to go. It's Siri. Look, Siri. Siri, yeah. how am I? All right, I'll tell you why I'm so excited to be going to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, is that it is the home it's of the, the Mutter Museum, which is a medical what type museum which is so much up my alley. I can't even start to tell you how excited I am to be here. This is like an absolute dream come true for me. I mean, this is the place on this planet that is the most up my alley. Dun -dun. That sign right there says Mutter Museum. Oh, I can't even believe it, I'm so close. For years I've been looking at this online, trying to find pictures and videos. Like, oh my god. It's got like, they have like molds of um, examples of every kind of disease, every kind of skeletal deformity, all kinds of different fetuses, like oh, everything is in there. I got a, a new specimen behind me. Gunner, you watch yourself. You're gonna end up in a jar. <laughs> oh my God, chill out. How are you gonna get in touch with us? Well, you know, what? I'll You're leaving me here? here? You're yeah, not coming not, here? I don't want to go in the bottom. Why? I don't want to go in the bottom, right? What's yeah. wrong with you guys? You don't like to see like weird medical. I like oral surgery. And this is the creepy entrance to the museum. Oh, that's okay. Oh, it's in the old building, which used to be the, it says the College of Physicians. Okay, there is no eating, drinking, or photography in the museum, which I'm not surprised, but I can show you this. See, this is the kind of stuff we're going to see in there. All kinds of different skulls. I can show you this. And here is like an old room done in the old style. Some implements of torture there, or... Um, medical instruments, carbolic acid spray apparatus. You want to have to get that treatment. Oh, it's um, Lewis Carroll. Probably high off his ass on opium. Oh, the Cheshire Cat. And what's this? A heart injected with mercury. My goodness. Medicines with mercury. <sighs> you think we have it bad these days? Can you imagine how much mercury they were exposed to in the old days? Mercury and lead and everything else. Not good. Ooh, look, this is the medicine box. Oh, look, here are all the medicines. Actually, those look like homeopathic medicines. They are. This guy's this guy is seven foot six. Seven foot six, a real giant. Go stand next to him, Gunny, so we can see how tall is seven foot six. That's a, that's a big guy. Well, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go in, we have a couple hours, and um, we'll see you on the other side. 
Okay, hey, so we just finished our tour of the Mudder Museum. It, it was great, and the place it is actually boring. not that big. Gunner says it was boring. It was great. It was boring. It was, I thought it was great. It is really not that big in there, and we were in there for about two hours, which we found was plenty. Gunner says it's a little boring. I think it's a bit much for little kids, like it's, unless they're super interested in that thing in particular. But what we had a lot of fun doing here, come here. We're just like right in front of the museum, which is closing now. And what Show we had- what you did to me in that museum. I will, this is what we did. Every time we came up to an exhibit, like if it was a ganger in his foot, I'd grab Gunner, I'd be like, this is why you wash your feet. You don't go to bed with wet shoes on. And like the diabetic one, I was like, this is why you don't eat so much junk. What else was there? Oh, the frostbite. This is why you don't go out without mittens. Well, I was doing that for all the displays and he was getting a really big kick out of it. And um, I want to make a cartoon. It's like hmm? the doctor, the, the old, the old, Never mind. Close your hand. Squeeze him. Ah. Squeeze him. Squeeze him. They have a lot of skulls, a lot of skeletons, all kinds of different things. They have some old medicines, some instruments. Um, Yay! My favorite thing of all was the uh, wax molds of the different conditions. Uh, I thought those were really cool. They're really well, well real made. People. In real life, don't you think about anything else except man-made things. And then at the end we went to uh, the gift store and I got this book. And I got this thing. His I little skeleton. The Witch and in the Waiting Room, a physician investigates paranormal phenomena in medicine. But it looks really good and it's just the kind of thing I like. It's medicine, oh, and it's paranormal. Thing. Yes, you got a skeleton. Hey, hold your book up. Book up. Mm. Here, over here, in front of the camera. I don't like it here. There, there was another thing uh, which was, it w really, really freaked me out. It's like this interactive thing where you see what it's like to lose a limb in the, the war. It's set up so that you stand there and you see yourself in a mirror, but there, uh, like interactive display of the limb is there, but it's like where it would be on your arm and your arm is hidden. So you see their arm instead of your arm. And so your new arm, right, through the display gets shot and then gets infected and then it gets all grody and then eventually they have to amputate. And it's, I mean, it's not like hyper real, but it's real enough to be like scary. Like it scared the crap out of me to see what it's like to it scare uh, me. It wasn't high get, enough get your limb all screwed up and amputated. Anyway, that that, that part was it intense. It scared me, it was too low. Yeah, for Gunner, it, it was, he it was wasn't like big enough. It was like up here on me. It's true, the minimum height for that is four foot 10. But with that, and then all these other cool things that they had, it was a, a nice way to spend two hours. What else did I get in here? We've got a fridge magnet. I heart the Mutter Museum. And I also got this. Highlights from the Mutter Museum, which is cool. So that concludes our tour of the Mutter. Took us, what, only 11 hours to come down here. It had been a dream of mine for years, and I finally got to do it, and that was just so awesome. Wow.